a trainer and a trainee uh, a trainer who was from uh, a trainee who was from uh, US and uh, she was around 35 year old she had just come here with their husband for this uh, particular training but since when they went to Parklide yesterday uh, the the event turned out tragic and they no one really has the true the real information on what happened alongside this Kerio Valley escarpment and as you can see uh, Mohiga the valley is very steep and when something happened in this particular uh, valley you, you can imagine it's very tragic it's very deep and very stiff and uh, Maura, what the current government is saying that uh, they are really in talk with the Kenya Aviation and plus the security on Felgeo Marakwet entire team they are now going into a meeting just a few minutes from now and we will be also coming back to you to tell you what they have discussed what they have agreed on and but that has not no uh, Maura has not really uh, stopped this activity going on as as you can see just behind me are uh, like 20 of them uh, paragliders who are here and they have just finished their training in a few minutes ago there are no there is no one who is willing to talk to us from them from the same team everyone they are just talking in low tones on what happened yesterday but they are saying they have to move on at the end of the day but wahiga they are saying that the trainee and the trainer they just took off here where we are standing here yesterday and all was going on well and the trainer has been say it has been said that he has been living in this region or rather in Kenya for 17 years and he has is the most experienced trainer in this region so they some everybody is asking a questions what really happened and now that the most uh, experienced trainee who is called Mr Thomas also who, who, who also died yesterday but uh, we are still following up on these issues Wahiga to see what will be happening but this is not the only incident Maura, that happened yesterday a week ago also a German citizen also died in the same valley and uh, another one like uh, one, or, one or two weeks ago uh, was take, he went all the way to Wasingishu County from this region and that, was, that is almost 30 kilometers from this point where we are and he also injured his bag and uh, some also like three or four of them also got several injuries in the same valley something that has really raised eyebrows here in this region and the county government as i told you earlier with the kenya aviation they are coming together to see what will the measures will they, will they put in place to ensure that the safety of these barracliders is put in place so that they can ensure that there is no more death or any injury so wahiga from Kerio view here in Iten, in Iten, Elgeo Market County, we are still just looking into this issue and once we get what the county government plus the all stakeholders are involved and what they have come up with a resolution for this, we will not waste time to come to you and tell you what they have discussed. Wahiga. Well, John Wanyama, I'm sure our viewers would have loved to see what the view over that cliff looks like. Hopefully you can give us that pictures, those pictures a bit later on. Uh, but in addition, I'm sure you've gotten a chance to speak with those who are getting ready behind you. What are they saying? You might have alluded to this a bit earlier on, but just let us know. As you talk to them, they know what has happened. They know how many have lost their lives, yet they still insist on doing it. Yeah, up to now, the one I've spoken to, like uh, the, the, a, a lady who is still also, who is training here, Wahiga, they are saying, they are, they are suspecting that the parachute maybe could have uh, hanged on a tree or something, but they are also not sure of what really happened. But so far, we can, uh, we can really pinpoint out that at least three have lost their lives in just recent, uh, in the recent, near, in the near recent uh, future. And uh, uh, Wahiga, what, whatever most of them are saying is that uh, they are not going to give up because accident can happen anywhere anyway. And this is just one of the sad moments or one of the accidents, and they are not going to give up uh, on, on their training. And uh, some of them, as we, we, we reached here, Maura, we found them, some of them were really crying, mourning the death of their fellow friends whom they came together in peace, and now they will go back to their countries without them. And this game also has been... It's a sport game that has really put uh, El Geo Marquette County on the map. That this is the only place 
where barclaiders can come all the way from different countries and find a place where they can go and barclide uh, with the highest uh, altitude, altitude here in Iten, Elgeo, Marquette County. So it's a sad moment for most of them, but they're saying they will not give up. It's a sport like any other, like football, someone can also collapse and die, but they're saying they're going on. And even my cameraman can show you, Wahiga, there is another tra trainer and a trainee, mostly maybe like what happened yesterday. Uh, the, the, it was a, a similar picture. We are not saying this is the same thing, but uh, it's a similar picture of what really happened yesterday. And uh, they are training. And they are, it's a very uh, deep and a very uh, dangerous escapement, as you can, t as I can tell you. I wish we could just be having a, a place where we can show you, but uh, we will find that time later. Maybe we're here to come back to you to tell you what, how this really thing looked like. But those who really uh, got that accident yesterday, they died at a place called Tambaj where we'll be maybe moving there in a few minutes to give you or to just paint a picture to you on what will happen and to talk to residents also to give us what will happen yesterday. Wahiga. Finally, Wanyama, do you have any idea of what sort of safety precautions uh, those, um, those who engage in the sport normally you know, have uh, before they dive? Uh, can you just explain to Kenyans, if possible, if you've observed how they, what sort of measures they put in place for safety? Because it, uh, uh, it looks uh, like quite a risky sport. Totally, Wahiga is totally a risky sport, and as we we were here as early as uh, 8 a.m. in the in the in the morning, and uh, mo maybe we've seen them having some uh, uh, radio calls. Maybe if someone has uh, is having some difficulty while uh, in, in the air, maybe they they are communicating to the some to someone who is here on the ground here. But also that one can really not uh, help them, especially more when you are deep or you are in the valley down there and you are talking to someone uh, up. Here. He cannot really help you when you are in danger. We have seen also some of them having. Uh, uh, it's a very dangerous. Uh, uh, it's a very dangerous uh, affair, really, Wahiga, because most of the precautions we have seen is that they are carrying a, a very heavy bag on their on their bag, so that when maybe someone falls down, that uh, if bad luck, good luck, you fall on your back, then that one can really be like a sob, uh, shock absorber for the one who will, who will be paragliding. But most of safety measures, we have seen some of them putting on helmets on the on their heads. So. Those are just a few, but uh, I think more needs to be done for them to ensure they are safe from this risk again. Wahiga. So much, John Onyama, for that update from uh, was uh, actually a girl, Marakwet. I'm so used to saying Wasingishu County. And of course, our condolences to the family and friends of those who lost their lives in that sport. And we certainly hope further safety measures will be put in place to make that sport uh, much safer, although I'm sure the thrill is the reason why many engage in it. Well, let's now switch gears. Talk matters Kenyatta National Hospital and services at that hospital were paralyzed yesterday after a section of health workers staged a demonstration in defense of their colleagues accused of sexually assaulting women at the facility. The workers paraded morgue attendants who are alleged to uh, have taken part in these acts and dared anyone to bring evidence and to name them. This as Health Cabinet Secretary Cleopa Mailu pledged to make public a probe report on the allegations today. Laura Otieno gives us those details. Morning scenes from Kenyatta National Hospital. Workers from all departments marched through the corridors of the hospital in solidarity with their colleagues from the MOG section. And today, a new twist. Workers paraded the notations and beckoned whoever had evidence that they had sexually molested mothers at the facility to come forth. Then word came round. And indeed, the crowd of rival protesters arrived. 
and for about 30 minutes an intense war of words. A consortium of NGOs had made their way to this facility to voice their concerns following the claims of rape. And in all this, for hours, families remained stranded outside the hospital's morgue and able to retrieve bodies of their loved ones. In the meantime, health CS Dr. Cleopa Mailu received a probe report by the hospital, which he promised to table on Wednesday. The CS also dismissing calls for the facility's management to step down. Allegations are there. We have to investigate and give the answer to the public. What they can do, what I ask, is for all of us to be patient. Another 24 hours, hoping that the CID are going to complete. And then we tell Kenyan what actually is the issue. Allegations of rape at the hospital emerged last week on social media, prompting a probe into the matter. Police, however, say that the investigation has hit a snag as no complainants have come forward to record statements. Well, joining us in studio to talk a bit about this, uh, some individuals who were actually at those demos yesterday. And uh, thank you to each of you. Let me just briefly introduce them. Far right there, Wanjerin Deru, human rights activist. Uh, next to her is Jacqueline Polo, human rights activist and the admin of Buyer Beware Kenya, where we first saw those posts. Uh, we have Kenneth Meme, uh, Chief Shop Steward, Kenyatta National Hospital. And right here next to me is um, Irene Moke, Deputy Chief Shop Steward. Welcome to the program, each of you. you. Let me start with you, Kenneth. Yes. Why did Kenyatta National Hospital workers hold a protest yesterday? Uh, does your CEO not speak on your behalf? Does the administration not speak on your behalf? Actually, yesterday we were not speaking on behalf of the management. We were speaking on behalf of our workers, Simba de Kenya. The management has not spoken in, on behalf of the workers yet, or enough. That's what you are saying. Yes. Yesterday, we were not there because of the management or defending the management. We were there to defend our workers who have been accused of things which are not there. So we were not there for the You management. have proof that none of the allegations are true? I don't think so. You don't think so, but, you, but yesterday you, you, you were very categorical. Yes, we've, we've just seen you on TV. Yeah, because there is, there is a way of doing things. And they would have started using the normal procedure. If today somebody tells you, you are a thief, then this person must have facts to call Mr. Mahura, you are a thief. That's what you are saying. Okay, let me allow Irene to come in as well. Yeah, and maybe to add on that, uh, what I could say is that it is not the management that has been accused. It is the workers of the hospital. The management has not been called rapists. It's the workers who are working there that have been called rapists. And we came out to protect our name. We are professionals of inte integrity, and that is why we came out to say that we are not rapists. We are professionals of integrity, and we do our services according to the Constitution. You did not feel that by the acts that we saw yesterday, a section of Kenyans may have felt, what are these workers trying to hide? Why do they look like they are mobilizing their own? In a sense of, uh, we are united in defending our own, rather than waiting for the report to come out, and then after that react. Would that not have been a wiser strategy? The report will come out, but we couldn't wait. We had to go out also and, re and protect our own name as Kenyatta National Hospital. Okay, I'll yeah. come back to talk about protecting your own name because there are those who feel that that's not what happened yesterday. Wanjeri, you can come in as well, your thoughts, even as uh, you were part of the other side of the <laughs> protest yesterday. Um, you can come in and, and I could also ask you the same question. Could you not have waited for the, we ha we're waiting for two reports, mm -hmm. Kenyatta National Hospital report and the DCI's report as well. Would that not have made your protest then, you know, on with something tangible rather than uh, what we know for now are allegations? Um, right. Uh, the reason why we held the protest yesterday, even with them claiming they're going to give us a report. Um, you don't believe them? Uh, no, we have our reasons why we don't believe them. I hope you'll be able to share. Yes, we on. will. Uh, the reason why we needed to do this was, if the, the time the allegations came out, and the reaction from the management to the nation would have been, um, we are, uh, we've uh, gotten these uh, reports, give us time to investigate, and then we will get back to you and you know first show some form of shock that really is this happening we are sorry victims let us try and get to the bottom of this matter we'll get back to you but that is not what happened they came out and denied outrightly 
without investigating, without giving anybody a chance to come out and say, where is this story coming from? So we decided, if these people have outrightly denied, which is expected, it is expected that they want to protect their name, their image, the management will want uh, themselves to look that, like, you know, nothing like that could happen under their watch. But if they had come out and said, okay, we have had the uh, ABCD has happened, give us space and time to investigate, and then maybe then we would not have sat down and said, you know what, women? No. Let us not protest. Let, you know, we were, we were having women leaders lobbying behind the scenes for us not to protest. I saw that on your Twitter handle last yes. night. What, what were the reasons? Uh, oh, um, it is political. We don't understand the things, be, uh, the, 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 you know, the underlying issues. Mm -hmm. uh, it is about uh, the management, the, the, the CEO being a female. Um, so many other reasons came forth. And we were told, you know what, do not protest. Let's let investigations take place. But that is not what we are seeing on national TV. They are not going, they are not telling us, give us time to investigate. They are saying, no, it did not happen. And when the pressure continued on social media, especially, is when they said, okay, now we are going to investigate. Maybe it could have happened. Maybe it could not have happened. Give us time to investigate. That's the reason we went to the street. Because we did not see commitment on trying to get this issue, you know, out, laid out there. And today morning on Citizen, you had some of them uh, on your panel. On the Power Breakfast show? Yes. Okay. One, it was an all-male panel, which... Well, we've, we've, <laughs> we've changed. We're talking about raping women here. I think the voice of a woman is important. But you see, we have gender here. Yeah. But yes, no, no. In fact, yeah, balance. This is a balance, somewhat. Um, but one of the questions we asked was, uh, "Have you been interrogated?" And they said, "No one has talked to them." This is Kenya National Hospital staff. Yes. yes. Okay. So today we're expecting a report, but nobody has talked to the people who should be giving information that should go into this report. Jacqueline, isn't, isn't there something off with that? Let me, let me bring in uh, Jacqueline now just to get your thoughts. Do you feel you achieved what you were hoping to achieve yesterday? Partly, yes. Okay, what do you feel you, you, you managed to, to, you know, what are you happy about, but what do you also feel could have been better? We are happy that now it is out there. When we went to KNH yesterday, we went in peace. We went to simply say, we have received these allegations. Can you investigate? And I'm shocked that KNH are not bothered by this. They were defending themselves in a way those are an us versus them kind of situation. And it shouldn't have to be. This is a hospital, a national hospital. Shouldn't they be bothered by these allegations and go like, oh wow, such a thing could be happening in our, our hospital. But that is not how they looked at it. They were looking at it like, these people, are them, they are attacking us. Mm -hmm. Which is not supposed to be the case. When you saw a, a lot of women on the other side, on yes. the Kenyatta National Hospital side, what was your reaction? Some bending over, and it was vile. Some were bending over, and showing us their backsides, and telling us, Akuna kitu mtafanya, you will not do nothing. We were called that prostitutes, me. actually. Yeah, oh, yes, they were calling oh. us. Can it, can it, <laughs> I wasn't there, yeah, so I can't it. verify this. And again, we need to watch <laughs> what language, you know, this is daytime TV. <laughs> oh, thank please. you. Thank okay. you. Uh, Kenneth, um, what, 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 did that happen, and why, why did he need to get to that? You, you, you see, Mr. Maura, actually we are so bitter let's say this and let me take you back the year 2013 mm -hmm. and this issue of rape came again this is not the second time where a male nurse has been accused of leading a patient who has 70 percent bans with a catheter Sure, even a man person, even a man person. Okay, I yeah, don't okay, do okay. That. okay. You so that's why on, we don't want this one to happen again because it seems as if there is something. Why don't you wait for the investigations to take place? What you or better yet, what do you suggest? If you don't like the way things are happening now, what do you suggest? In fact, I would have said this. Yes, even them, they would have waited for the report. Then now they come, the but still, also what? they are waiting. They are not waiting for the report. I do, would you, do you, are you expectant that report will shed light, will reveal the truth? No. They say that they don't think so. According to them, but according to us, there is a report which is supposed to be prepared by the board and another one by the DCIO, That's correct. as it has been said by it's the Minister for Health. So those are have you been interviewed or any of your workers? Are you I'm aware? I have not had Let any. Let me answer that. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. The Come people in. who are being interviewed are the mothers, the victims who have been killed, who have been alleged to have been raped. Our mothers were in the ward. Those are the ones who have been interviewed. The ones who are in the ward at the moment, yes. presently. Not as the officials and the workers. The interrogation is on the victims. 
Do you, okay, I, 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 and actually something coming up on the theme, mm -hmm. do you wish, did you feel that it would have been better if everyone was, inter was in interrogated or interviewed? Have you made that, is that a concern for you or you are okay so far with the way those investigations are happening? We are okay with the way the investigation You don't feel as workers would also have wanted to be... There are some workers also like the mortuary attendants okay. who have also been interrogated on the same because they are also victims on this circumstance. Okay, Jackson, yeah. sorry, you want, to, you want to come in? I'm just wondering, a report is coming out today based on what? You see, Mora, if I said you did something, right? And then you would, you would know that the spotlight is on you. So if I came to interview someone around you, you would not be carrying on with the same thing. So if they investigating or rather interviewing the women who are in the hospital right now, would the, the same thing would be happen, I mean, happening right now? I don't think so, because there's a spotlight on them. So right now, I don't think any woman is getting violated. I really don't. Actually, um, this is what my concern is with her statement. We have a culture in this country where the victim is the one who has to prove their victimhood. Mm. We have a culture where if Wanjeri is raped, she has to prove she has been raped. So, you saying that the victims or the mothers are being interrogated, and using the word <coughs> interrogated like they're suspects, and that the victims here is what we <coughs> what enhances our culture of rape in this country. A woman who has been raped, it should not be upon her to prove she has been raped. Investigations should focus on the person who has allegedly done the rape. Now they're focusing on the victims. Secondly, um, my friend here is saying that in 2013 uh, this happened again. In 2013, a woman who had, yes, third degree 70% bans was raped by one of the alleged to have to have been raped by one of the problem? nurses. She she complained. She she made a report. Is proven? After the May, may I finish my statement? Okay. okay, you've made your point. Go ahead. Right. You've made your so point. So she said that she has been raped. Okay? Now that already removes this the, 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 the lie from the management that there has never been a report. A woman came forth in twenty thirteen. Mm -hmm. Now, how is it being treated? Five years down the line, it's still wishy-washy. I've tried to look for information on that case. You can't find it. Now, he has sat here and told us he doesn't believe it is normal for that to have happened unless the person is sick. Already mm -hmm. alluding to the impossibility no, that, that something happened. like that mm -hmm. could have happened. Mm -hmm. So my question goes, the women who have come forth all over social media, they're not even hiding their identities, okay? Are all these women, did they sit down in a room or in a hall, because they are men, and decided, mm -hmm. hmm, let's target Kenyatta and let's all claim that we are being told to walk in groups and uh, we are being chased down corridors. It doesn't make any sense. So what we would expect is, fine, these allegations have come forth. Let us collectively sit down together and figure out, one Jerry, has somebody come to you and told you ABCD happened to them? And they will say, yes. Can we access that person? I ask this person, are you mm -hmm. comfortable being accessed? Yes, get together. That makes sense instead of saying, oh yeah, they're interrogating the people in the world. Or like, oh my God. Okay, let me give uh, Kenneth a chance to respond. Kenneth, of course, the topic of rape is a very sensitive discussion. Very mm -hmm. serious one. We, I think we can agree on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agree so, on that one. with some of the statements that you made yesterday, yes. telling people, come and table names of victims in public, mm -hmm. ETC, mm -hmm. if there's anyone who's gone through that, experience, mm. that harrowing experience. Mm. Do you seriously expect them to come out in come public? Out. No, uh, Especially uh, after... No, no, not, within the, within, no, not within the public, eh? not within the public, eh? but what they were supposed... There's a procedure. And that's why I'm saying... Do you have any regrets that, about the statements you made yesterday? I, 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 Do you have any regrets about I the don't statements? have any regrets. You don't have any regrets? I don't have any regrets. You don't feel that they were intimidating? Uh, no, no. The issue is not intimidating. We are not intimidating anyone. But there is a procedure, the way things are supposed to be done. That's what we are saying. And that is your biggest grievance. But That's the biggest grievance. That, however, is, is, is not what really came out yesterday. Mm. What came out yesterday was you looked like you were completely denying yes. that that could have happened. Mm. Which is why, again, I'm asking. And she's, I don't know whether you, 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 you get my point there. Mm. In that it seemed that for you, it is an impossibility that that could have happened. Mm. That then being my question. But I didn't allow you to, to come in as well. Well... Uh, what we are saying is that rape is a very traumatizing experience. Yeah. We all agree with that. Mm. And that is where we are saying there's a procedure, especially in the ward. If this mother was raped <laughs> or there was an attempt, there is a matron in charge. This mother could have gone and reported to the matron in charge. And again, these mortuary attendants, when they come collecting the bodies as if being alleged that the ones who did the attempt, it's not even one. They come two. 
and that metal where they carry the bodies, really, you should come to the hospital and see this scenario. It, it's not possible to happen. It is not possible. Okay. So, so let the investigations be concluded yeah. mm -hmm. and the truth be told. We uh, have the CCTV cameras. React, yes. Yeah. Yes. We have the CCTV cameras. So let the, in the investigation will be out today and the truth will be known. But we still the say no. Okay. There was no the other side, they don't believe the truth will be known, Kenneth. Th th thank you, Mr. Maura. We are saying we cannot direct the institution which are doing the investigation. They have their own capacity. But also there is an allegation mm -hmm. that under a certain misconception that it was reported these women, they do work in a group mm -hmm. because of the fear of the rape. Mm -hmm. That is very wrong. There are two facts. The reason why these mothers work in a group, mm -hmm. number one, some have delivered the day before yesterday, others have done, as it has been done, you expect most of them will be a bit weak. That's number one. Number two, when they are going to breastfeed these young Kenyans, they go in a group because you see, you must also give the nurses time so that they can proceed with other, other procedures because uh, every mother cannot be going to breastfeed the, the, the child maybe after one hour or two hours so there is a program within the hospital so that's why they go as a, a group but it has been misquoted they go as a group because of the fear of the rape that's what something I wanted to clarify because of the fear of the mortuary yeah. attendant yeah, yeah. so okay yeah, and, and uh, oh, come in Maura, come in. allow me to say this some of the women we have spoken to who have gone through this ordeal either through to rape or halfway. They, they never got raped but were harassed. They said they were told to walk in groups by the nurses because it is dangerous. They, they I were, am quoting. Sections of the press say they were warned. Yes, they were warned because they were told it is dangerous to go to the NBU to breastfeed their babies alone. They they told, to do not try to go to the NBU alone. At night. And sure you're in groups. They go at midnight and they go at 3 a.m. They were told it is dangerous. And they're saying they have seen the danger firsthand. When these morticians or the morgue attendants are coming to pick bodies, the lift is where the rape happens. The lift, the corridors that are extremely dimly lit. Why are the corridors so dimly lit? So they are told it is dangerous to go breastfeed your baby alone, walking groups. Wanjiri, what, what next? Yesterday we saw the protest. Is that the end of um, the sort of consortium that we saw really working and focusing on matters K and H? You're talking about increasing security, better maternal health care. What next in terms of the group that was there yesterday outside the hospital? Um, before I get to that, let me uh, counter um, something that uh, she okay, said. Okay, go ahead briefly, please. That uh, CCTV. CC, what percentage of that hospital has CCTV? Mm -hmm. She can be very honest. Mm -hmm. The day that um, uh, the women parliamentarians and uh, leadership went there in the morning, they asked some of the, the, the one of the press was, can we see the CCTV for the night before 3 a.m., which was not available. And the excuse was also that the whole hospital, there's some parts that don't have CCTV. There was, this, let's, let's drop the CCTV hogwash. Let's just drop it. Anyway, as of uh, what we did yesterday, when the noise increased online, especially on social media, and the outcry went there, and we started uh, uh, rallying people and saying we need to go to the street, we need to go to the street, the KNH management uh, released a statement and said um, they've increased police presence and they're going to move mothers closer to their babies. Yeah. And it was on, in press reports that, uh, in fact, we have people in the hospital who are telling us, by the way, right now we have more security, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. And now there are plans to move the mothers next to their children. But why did it have to take noise from activists who they are threatening to sue? We, 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 are, we are waiting yeah. for, for the for Okay, for the you wish to say that that is true, okay? <laughs> yeah. Briefly, please. Why did it have to take us to come out and say ABCD should happen? Don't we have thinkers in that hospital? Because isn't it logical it should be well lit, CCTV should be there, mothers should be next to their babies? Mm -hmm. Kenneth, on, be, on behalf of the workers, and I know you to respond to her, yeah. are there concerns that you have about some of the standards at Kenyatta National Hospital? In addition to protesting and defending the name of the workers, um, are there things that you wish were done differently at that hospital? Because there are those who are saying that these allegations show that there needs to be some changes. Some are calling for overhauls, um, ETC. Yeah. On behalf of the workers, do you feel that there are certain things that need to change? I, I, I want to say this, uh, Mr. Maura. Um, Changes are always good. Mm -hmm. We are not infusing for any change. Mm -hmm. 
But I don't want to read on the side of the management because as I've said earlier, you don't speak on we their are behalf. not here to mm. speak on behalf of the management. <laughs> so there are some of the questions, actually to be very frank, I am not in a position to be able to answer. Okay. But, 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 but in, a, in a, my own understanding, there are some of the things which need to be done. And we are not, in fact, even what we are saying, we are saying it is okay. Let those mothers be moved near to that place. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are appreciating that. Mm -hmm. That is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, Mr. Moura, even us, we have daughters. Mm -hmm. And they rape. It's very serious. Mm -hmm. And what we are saying should bother us. Mm -hmm. And bother us. All of us. Okay, you say that now, but yesterday yes, that you was not. You are not saying that. Yes, yes, I have to be honest. I have to be honest. We were agitated yesterday. It was agitated. So then, okay. Add okay. Something. Yes, sorry, yeah. just just play it if you have it, he, yeah. because he he is very apologetic. He, right now he's talking about being a father, etc. But uh, first of all, <laughs> you, you 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 number mother. one no. are discounting yeah, allegations made in 2013, mm -hmm. uh, almost saying that you'd have to be mad to do that. Again, that is uh, despicable. We cannot make such uh, assumptions. Mm. You are not there, so again, you know, that would be hard to say. But uh, the, the incident in 2013, the allegations that were made by a lady, and you say that's practically impossible. That's practically impossible. No, no, I, I don't think that it's fair to say that, yeah, because first of all, you are not there, and again, it's, for, for someone who said you're a father, mm. it is, it, I don't know if... if uh, uh, but Maura, it, uh, he claims it's practically impossible. Is this the same hospital where a man was stabbed 40, 40 times, times on his mm. hospital bed? bed? and nobody had anything and we are saying it is practically impossible, impossible. to rape someone mm. can, can i add okay. 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 Give her, can i give a chance about the Okay. The one on, on uh, stabbing the stabbing. patient, that is a case that is under investigation. It is in the police, it is in court. From 24, so probably from we should not we should talk, not talk about okay. Yeah. Okay. it. Okay, fair there. enough, Irene, we'll leave it there. We'll yeah. leave it um, there. Do we have that <laughs> clip now? Okay, uh, Kenneth, you wanted, to come, you wanted to respond to what you had yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, sorry. Yeah, um, I don't have any regret for what I said yesterday. If the report shows fears or worries that some of the allegations made on social media actually happened. Mm. Are you going to retract your words? I will. Wait, you will? But you're saying now you have no regrets. No, I'm saying if, okay. if the report is out at the points ABC, in fact, will be the first one to say, if it is Mr. So, who has been accused of this, yes. and they hear we have facts which cannot be doubted by anyone, as long as it has done procedurally, will say you are not one of us so we won't see you defending them saying that no. you're spoiling the name of yeah. no no okay. we okay. don't defend okay. them okay. yeah allow okay. me to say something of the women who Briefly, came out please. yes or the women who came out there is a common name of a staff at, at kenyatta hospital that came not once not twice Okay. Yes. Because they are not there, you won't mention their names. I mean, yeah. 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 the police. Some of the staffers know this person. It's not like they don't know this person. Okay. Yes. Have you forwarded that information to the authorities? We have. We have. They are aware. There is a name. There is a name. Yes. Has that name been handed? It's not working alone. It was even being chanted yesterday as we were doing our match. So there is a name. Victims and some of the there workers there, march. they know. And they were chanting they okay. two names. Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I hope names, this information is to the police. Just just play that clip. I'm going to give you the final word. Um, that grief, uh, as I said, have a project to make. That's number one. Number so you're two, making an apology now? I'm not making an apology. Oh, you're not making an apology I'm now. not making an apology of what I said yesterday. That's number one. Number two, this issue of uh, trying to, uh, to, to accuse somebody when proper investigation has not been done does not aggravate very well. That's your, that, is, that is what you feel? That's what you think. And um, the other thing, I want to request one thing and say this to the government. We would wish the county's uh, hospitals do their work. Okay? 
sure that the international hospital will be left mm -hmm. to we do their right. core we business, right. and that is what we call the far far issues. Okay. Let me say one thing before I not, not that anyone who is sick immediately goes yes. to Kenya. Yes, that's okay. what we are saying. Okay. And actually, the reason why we are saying this, eh, sometimes we do receive very small things that Kenyatta, we are not supposed to be adding true, those yeah, things. True, true. So until these things are done, I'm telling you, we'll be very perfect. But Before that Kenyatta happens. National Hospital is not, and will never be, a hotspot of rapists and the thieves. We'll have Kenyatta to National is a professional Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. I've given you the last word. Thank we'll you. have to wait for the report. Thank the you. report should reveal the truth. At least that's what we hope. Yes. Even though some of my guests here don't think so. Wanjeri yeah. Nderu, Kenneth Meme, Irene Mwoke, and uh, Jacqueline Polo, thank you so much for finding time to thank be here with us on Citizen Extra. And to all your SMS feedback as well. We take a quick break. You're watching Citizen Extra. Stay with us.